Well, I'm pleased to say uh, Boris Johnson is here in the flesh. Uh, good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, you must be feeling uh, quite confident when uh, a recent YouGov poll uh, suggests that you're 12 points ahead of Ken Livingston. Well, I think anybody in my position facing a redoubtable adversary like Ken Livingston will be completely mad to be confident at this stage. We are going to be fighting for every single vote right the way to the wire. It is quite interesting, isn't it, uh, when you think about the fact that there is no evidence that you can run anything. And there are rumours that senior people in your party uh, are concerned, so much so that they're advising you. Well, I'm absolutely, let me tell you, I'm the only candidate at this election uh, who's actually had any experience in the private sector of holding down costs. I don't think anybody, uh, either Brian Paddock or uh, Ken Livingston, had any experience of uh, running anything before that. So, they so are came. senior people so in your party not advising you on, on business executives getting I, into City I, Hall? I won't hide it from you or from our viewers that, of course, there are many people who want to uh, come with me into City Hall and to set up a new sensible regime uh, in City Hall dedicated to making London safer and delivering taxpayer value for Because this is London. the time, isn't it? This is the time, as you say, to tell viewers, to tell voters who are the people that are going to help you run London? Who, who will be your administration? Tempting though your invitation is, Riz, it would be quite wrong of me now to set out a cabinet government for London uh, that you know, we'll be working with. There will be people, obviously, very high quality people that I'm currently talking to about what they can do to help. But don't forget, there are brilliant talents already working in City Hall, already working in the mayoral bodies, and I'll be working with them as well. OK, um, well, for example, you say there are brilliant people already working there. Uh, who'll run transport? You know, I don't want to get at this stage into a detailed discussion of who will be doing what job. But suffice it to say, there is a wonderful array of talent. And I also say this, uh, my administration in London will reflect the wonderful diversity of London. And I insist on that. OK. It's just that you have come out and, and said that there are lots of things about TfL's policies that you're not happy with. So obviously we're keen to know whether or not you'll keep their top there, management, There are example. plenty of people in TfL who agree completely uh, with my objectives of minimising, reducing greatly the disorder and crime that we're experiencing, particularly on our buses and all the areas for which the mayor is directly responsible. And I've no doubt there are going to be huge numbers of allies who are going to work with me to drive down minor disorder and crime in order to drive out more serious crime as well. Minor uh, disorder and crime is only slightly up and uh, overall crime on buses is down. But let's stick with buses for the moment. Can You've I just say on that? I mean, Campaigning around London, it's a huge issue for people who are being deterred from getting on the bus at 3.30 in the afternoon by the disorder and aggro being kicked up by a tiny minority of kids. And that's why I've announced this plan uh, for Payback London that you, you've uh, reported on your If it is a tiny tonight. minority uh, of kids and we know that uh, overall crime on the buses is down, do you think there is a danger that you are feeding people's fears of going on buses? I make no apology. I make absolutely no apology for wanting people's journeys and people's lives to be as safe and as tranquil as possible and you know I want people to be able to travel round the clock on the buses and feel safe and okay. I, I want the mayor to be able to travel round well, the clock well the, 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 the bus is is a huge issue for you we we, we know well, not that. just the buses the tubes the station platforms we're producing uh, measures that will help people after eight o'clock at night when so many station platforms are deserted okay. suburban station platforms. people feel apprehensive and they shouldn't. Okay, well, let's talk about uh, the money that you're going to use to do this. If we just talk for, for a moment, I know yeah. you've talked about uh, not just the buses, but you have talked a, a lot and made headlines with scrapping bendy buses and bringing back route masters. In terms of financially, the key thing is, can you do it? I think we can do it, and we can do it without, certainly, uh, without increasing fares for London. Don't forget, we're talking about pensioning off the bendy bus slowly, and then from May the 1st, we're going to have a competition to design a new generation route master, which I think will be a vehicle that Londoners will love and uh, they will appreciate again to have something that was taken away from I, Is that realistic? There are a lot of people that have said, your sums just don't add up. Uh, and, and by some differential, for example, uh, on one of the shows you said it was about 8 million. Some others are saying it's nearer 100 million. We don't want to debate the, the nitty gritty of each, you know, how much is something going to cost. But the key thing is, you don't want people to think that before an election you're promising something no, no, and right. you can't then deliver it. I'm absolutely confident that we can deliver this without any increase in fare by a sensible costed pensioning off of the bendy bus and the introduction 
of a replacement bus, which, after all, I gather today from the mayor's own uh, environmental press conference, is what he wants to do himself. Come from? Well, the mayor himself has said he wants a fleet of 500 uh, new hybrids. Don't forget, Transport for London has a budget of about £8.2 billion. Uh, they spent £34 million on a tram uh, scheme which never even came to fruition. There are more than 232 officials in Transport for London who are earning more than £100,000 per year, earning £3.5 million you, in bonuses, saying, though, if you £110 want the best million people around on consultants. You, they would need to, what, what sort of money would they need to earn? You need good people around you earning of good course, money. Of course, what Londoners want is value for money. And what worries me about the Bendy bus in particular and about uh, the general approach to London bus fleets at the moment is that there's so much fare evasion. 46 million quid lost in fare evasion at the moment, 8 million quid on the Bendy bus. Now, 8 million quid buys a lot of conductors. It, it and buys think, one per bus. And I think uh, Londoners would appreciate and uh, be very grateful for a few more conductors on those new generation Okay, routes. okay. Well, uh, I'm, I'm still not sure we've got to, to grips with how it's going to cost and uh, whether it's realistic. But let's just move on for a moment and, and talk about uh, the current administration and uh, Ken Livingstone. There have been allegations on, on the way in which grants have been handed out. Um, let's just put aside for a moment the police investigation looking into that. Are you happy with the fact that uh, Ken Livingstone has appointed a lawyer to look at whether his race advisor, Lee Jasper, broke City Hall rules? I think this is a matter for the police. Uh, as you know, there are uh, several police investigations into matters relating now to the London Development Agency. All I can say tonight is that, of course, uh, if and when I'm lucky enough to get to City Hall, we're going to be clearing it up and we won't have anything like the situation that currently now obtains in the LDA. We will have much more accountability for mayoral advisers and we will certainly uh, clean up the mess. So, that so are, you, are you saying that uh, Ken Livingstone's administration breaks the rules? Well, it's pretty obvious that it breaks the rules. You've got six police investigations or, you know, a handful of police investigations going on at this minute into LDA funding. Do you, know, do, do, millions, do you think Ken Livingstone millions, is honest? Millions of pounds have gone missing under this Labour mayor's watch and he can't even tell us where it's gone. London taxpayers contribute £311 on average in Band D in their council tax to this Labour mayor and he can't tell us where that money is going. Okay. I think it's a disgrace. Okay. Just finally, yes or no, do you think Ken Livingstone is honest? I have no reason to believe whatever that the mayor is in any way personally dishonest, but I do think uh, he's presiding over a shambolic, tired regime that is wasting taxpayers' money. Okay, Boris Johnson, I'm afraid we must leave it there. Uh, good to see you and thanks nice for coming to see you, in. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.